So everyone else is buying up these Corvettes and taking delivery of their C80s or whatever they are. They got nine turbos through the hood and got the welding gas plugged in and the big wings, whatever they do. So a guy figured, might as well snag one up too, you know, but you know me by now, got to do her the vice grip way. So I did the right thing and bought what appears to be a very high mileage stolen then recovered, wrecked, salvage title, auction Corvette. Great, but fit the budget. I know absolutely nothing about this car, so let's see if we can get her fired up. Oh, by the way, this standard screwdriver is the key. That's fine, I got 12 of these. No, 13. So here's what I know about this rig. It's uh, maroon. I believe it's a 98 Chevrolet. It's got the 5.7 Litre LS in it. It's got a Manuel Selectomatic. That was a big selling point. Convertible, obviously. I think the top, I don't know, folds in there or something. It's been painted once, horribly. The majority of the front end is ripped off. The only time I saw this is when I went to pick it up, pay the guy, and it was raining and snowing and muddy, you know, like every single day in Minnesota. So I just hooked a winch on it and drug it onto the trailer and we just rolled it off the trailer right into this spot here, actually before I went to Florida. So I don't know, I guess we'll just kind of walk around this thing and what is this? I don't know. Try to figure out what we got going on. Hmm. It's kind of funny because I still view these as kind of the the new Corvette, but it seems like everyone's getting a hold of them now. This one didn't, you know, it didn't end so well for it. And basically, I'll just kind of quick show you, see the hood line here. The frame is bent on this. See how the hood overlaps? So there was definitely some sort of impact happened here based on the wheels. I don't know if that's insurance or if that's crash investigation, but pulled a Mustang, went over a couple curbs or something or in the ditch. But it probably took about 13 seconds for the insurance to go, yep, totaled. So she went down the road. She ended up at an auction site in California. I'm assuming that's where it was born and raised. I don't have any uh, details on that though. Probably a button for that. But the body is, I mean, I guess it's kind of goodish from here back, but this is all jammed in. This is clearly not supposed to be that high. The front bumper was laying where I got it, but I mean, it was just in pieces, so there's really no point grabbing that. All this is kind of loose. Got some big floppage here but i think that's supposed to cool the computer down in there see so as you go faster this just scoops out like that i think i saw that in one of them indie car races probably not the interior is pretty much southern you know the sun down there just eats the seats up. what is this thing Let's get it up there okay i don't know how to run that Let's go over to the other side. Wow. Is there a button for that even? Oh. Ah, just, you know, there we go. That opens, what in the devil? Oh, uh, digital windows might not work. Boy, this seat is just, you know, it's been had. Airbags, they might've popped, not quite sure. You know, surprisingly, even though it's a convertible, it smells like burnt popcorn and aspirin with just a shade of airbag. It's not very good, to be honest. A bunch of plastic missing down here. And uh, I guess this is how you steal a Corvette is you just put some diodes in this fitting. And you probably thought I was joking, 
but no it really starts with the screwdriver so that's just jammed in there right now someone got the shifter ball dang it that kind of ish moves Ooh, compact disc hope that works that's not very much storage corvette oh there's the gas button good thing i looked in there that's important to know turn the traction control on and off um i don't know how many miles it has because we got no battery i was just told it was pretty high i think we need battery to get into here seats coming out oh there's lots of plastic tube laters and stuff in there i don't know does this have a trunk i think it does let's see if we can get in here and see what's going on yes i have a feeling i'll need that somewhere at some point i always like to start at the trunk it just tells you so much about the rig it's got to be a like I just snapped off a license plate light. Must be over here. I think I just snapped off the other license plate light. Ha! No, is this? Do you pull on this? Open. I don't know. It's got to be a button or something. That wasn't. That was not it there. Huh. By the by, this spoiler here, you can definitely tell was repainted because they sanded it with like 80 grit i'll show you later probably not i'll forget just you know squint you'll you can see it this side's been double side taped on <laughs> open open up now i think i need to reevaluate is there a user manual I don't know why everyone had to turn everything digital. What was wrong with the key for the trunk? Nothing in there but air baggage. <laughs> Nothing in there. Is this broke too? What is this piece? What have we got here? I don't know. Shin guard? We'll keep that back there, I guess. Gotta be a button. Easy on the paint. Oh. No, that's fuel door. I already found that. Oh, busted the traction control button out. This is not going good. What have we got over here? Oh, right there. I guess it could be this button that has a trunk kind of picture on it, but we're gonna need battery for that to work. Got my Super Start 1000. Oh, yeah, we'll come back to this later. Here's the battery just flopping in here. It's a never start, go we'll figure. Oh yeah, there's noises. There's noises back here. Now let's try the trunk. Something is aggressively grinding in the dash. I don't know what that is. Boop, boop again. More boops. What does that mean? Low coolant. Well, you don't even have a radiator guy. Maybe the key needs to be on. I don't know how this stuff works. Ah, oh, it's worse. Oh, there's a, there's a lever on there. Well, the key is on. Oh, key has to be off. Here we go, here we go again. Okay. Some sort of wing appliance, not sure. Oh, I believe that's a mass airflow sensor. Probably need that. And some sort of other intake air sensor. IAC, IBC, IHG, I don't know. It's a thing. I'm gonna put it back here. Probably need them, no idea. That doesn't look important. Don't need this thing where we're going. Ooh, carpet, still don't need it. What in the devil? Kind of a scoopy, big thing. 
I don't know. Marker light. More carpet. What is this? It's big, whatever it is. Oh, turns out that's the, you know, that's the convertible top in there. I think I've got to the end, other than this small book that says fruit on it. For anyone that says there ain't no luggage capacity in Corvettes, look at this. There's plenty. I mean, that's a mile deep over there. Oh, is that a paint can opener? I'll be dipped. That's a back pocket find. We had some sort of speak later boom box in here. That tells me whoever owned this was 29 or younger. Most likely. Don't get mad. And I don't know. I think that's just to get into the tail lips. But nothing else in here. I think she's already been pretty well gone through. Back up here, basically, there's a whole lot of plastic stuff. And then, you know, there's just something missing. Not so much here. It's like this region is just, it's gone. And there's so many, what, do, I mean, what, do, what, do, what does all that do down there? There's all sorts of plugs and doodabs and Great. At least the upper edge hose is on there. I think that's the upper. I don't know. Everything else looks stock. I mean, I don't think it's been played with. That's never been changed. It's got manifolds on it. Doesn't have any sort of throttle body. So I think the engine was at least stock, but hard to say. 5.7. Tires are bald. These weren't the tires on it. But these, I don't know where these came from. These are bald, and then these were even worse. Here. These are big. 295, 35, 18. But these just, there's nothing left on them. So I got two bad wheels, and I got two more that I think might be decent, but I don't know how much these cost. They can't be cheap. But them are not, you know, those just aren't very, they don't look, they're not, doesn't look nice, is what I'm saying. Here's a continuation of, what is, what does this thing do for me? That one's busted too. This was just ripped out of something. Got some caution. That one's melty. So that seems good, you know, some sort of probe, doodab, must be airbags maybe. I've seen these before. That's for these here lead lights, you know, the blinds yes, when you come over the hill. 35 watts, all B. This tire has been just a rubbing away in there. Here's some more of that overspray. So evidence that, again, she was painted at one point. Some sort of wire here that goes down to the ECU. So maybe that's part of stealing it is you got to jump something here along with the diodes screwdriver thing i don't know why is there cardboard squished in with some other what a light upgrade in here someone did same over here cardboard squishy things i'm thinking that is not standard option but anyway what i'd like to do is can we get this just running for two minutes without a radge to get it onto the lift because if we can get it on the lift we can get her up in the air and see what else is wrong with it frames bent but i want to see how the alignment is the control arms are damaged or both tires seem to be turning so the rack is somewhat intact but i just want to see how bad the front end really is i got this cheap enough i'm assuming that a lot of this up here is just going to be destroyed so Let's see if we could just get it fired up quick and on the lift. Just got to thinking, suppose a guy should probably check the oil. Whole reason, honestly, that I bought this car was just for the drivetrain more than anything. So what do we got? It's low, really bad. Hasn't been changed in a long time. Blacker than my liver, but there's some in it. So we can go ahead and crank her over. Need to check the coolant. Yep, that's fine. What else? 
good enough. Okay, we got connection. No, we don't. Now we got connection. Do we have it now? No, now? No, now, again. How about now? There we go. Let's just turn the screwdriver and see if it does something. Oh yeah, there's that sound. We got Neutralis. Yep, here we go. Oh, maybe I gotta, might have that old neutral safety thing. Oh, I can't bend. Turn it over. Hey, it's running. Ooh, throw out bearing doesn't sound good. It's got oil pressure. That's good. Power steering does not work. Half a tank of fuel, charging. Every light on the dash is on. That's good. Means the computer's doing something. Doesn't sound that bad, actually. I don't want to run it too long. Full key, wait 10 seconds. I'm sure that's security stuff. We'll have to deal with that. But most importantly, we got oil pressures. It's charging. I don't want to run it much longer since, uh, you know, stuff's missing. But this should be just fine to where I can kind of try to get her onto the lift over here. And then we can look into this thing farther. But great news, I don't hear any knocking banging it's not smoking i know that this poor girl she had a rough life i don't know if it's going to be worth it in the end but we'll just kind of take our time with this see if we can maybe get her tuned up not sure let's get the rad in maybe first and see if it overheats or anything like that and then we'll just you know you gotta you gotta crawl before you jump or something i don't know it's in a book somewhere look it up well where does a guy even jack these up? Wait a second. Someone actually drilled holes through the tailpipes before the muffler. That's nice. I'll show you a little later. Nope, probably forget that too. Anywho, there's a lot of stuff under here, but it doesn't look very jackable. We're gonna go with this weird looking thing. It's got pipes coming out of it. I don't know, car's going up. Where'd the things go? Okay, I think we're ready. I don't need this up anymore, do I? I don't think so. Here we go, here we go. Oop. Ah. Okay, do I drop it there, probably? I think so. I am equally surprised and happy this thing fired right up. It'd be a nightmare troubleshooting this thing. Let's see if I fit better than C2s and 3s. Ow! Nope. Ah. Oh, there goes the speaker cover. Okay, everything looks bad. Off to a good start. Come on. Come on. Do the thing. Boy, it doesn't like starting though. Well, I think a guy will just start in the back and work his way forward here. Look at this, that's what I was talking about earlier. So instead of, you know, buying the old mufflators, guy just banged some holes in there. I like it, that's approved. I might just end up yeah, snipping them off. That's kind of neat. I'm assuming, yeah, 342 must be the rear gear. I don't know if they did that on the assembly line or not. So if you know, bleep bloop that down there, but let's see, nothing looks, oh, had a shock replaced. 
Mono leaf looks fine, so that's good. This is definitely not off the assembly line. Looks like they added another ground. Maybe put a fuel pump or diagnose that. Let's see. Yeah, that's a brand new filter. So they were having some sort of fuel issue. Got tank laters. Those look okay. Nothing looks slammed down here anyway. O2's have been in there a long time. Here's that oil leak coming from, looks like up front, unfortunately. Dang it. Oh, there's some PS right there, I bet. Yep, that's power steering. So the rack is leaking up here somewhere. Speaking of the rack, oh yeah, look at that. That side looks pretty straight. What do we got over here? Bendage. So that side's bent. Oh, the sway bar end link is, normally there's a plastic piece from here to here. That's, uh, well, here's a piece of it over here. So that's been snapped off. Here we go. You can clearly see this is curbage or something. It was smacked really, really hard. Let's take a look. Lower control arm adjustment. So here we're about straight down. This side got knocked over. Front, it's pushed all the way up. And that one's clocked down. So this side went up and over pretty hard. Well, you can see there, look, this side is like inch and a half higher than that side. So if a guy were to try to do a full rebuild on this car, you definitely have to put her in a frame rack and then some, and I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet, but she was definitely smacked pretty hard. Computers didn't see, oh, I don't know if that big concave dent supposed to be there or not. There's some more damage there, here. Let's go check the other side and compare the two. Yeah, see this side's smooth. So she definitely got wallered up there really good. And there's a self tapper. I don't know if someone tried to fix it already. Oh yeah, and I guess this doesn't look very normal edge, you know. Not so much here, but you know, there. So, starter's been replaced. You can see that. More wire nuts and stuff up there. Oil's been changed. Well, never, based on that filter. Poor old Corvette. You know, the first owner, they just love on them. And then the more you go, it just gets worse and worse and worse. I mean, nothing that's gonna completely shut us down. Looks like it's gonna have horrible alignment, probably pole to the left or the right. Hopefully metal, pole to the middle. I don't know, it's a thing maybe. But it runs, I think it might go down the highway. So let's just mosey forward and see if we can figure out how to get a radiator in this thing. I was looking a little closer in here and look at this. This frame horn is buckled in here and then out here. That's what it's supposed to look like. And standing here, you can also see that frame there is considerably higher than even the bottom of the cross member. So I'm not sure if it was the impact back here that tweaked it up or the impact on the lower control arm but it went up and over pretty significantly. That's why that hood is all boop, boop over like that. But I'm gonna pretend that, you know, we didn't see any of this basically. And I don't know, maybe we'll change the oil or something. Not sure yet. Guy thought he was missing parts, but I think I'm okay. This is, looks like the top radiator holder in or pin or downer. And then this appears to be the bottom. She angles up this way, but I was looking at the frame and this side got cut off, I think, or maybe ripped off and that side's damaged too. So I think we're gonna be self-tapping or welding that in, which isn't ideal, but then I was spending time on this, tracing wires and whatnot. Then a the guy got to thinking, 
Well, wait a minute. She fired up with everything unhooked, so I'm not going to waste time doing that anymore. We'll just start putting that radiator in. All I really need is the fans. So I think where I'm going to start is let's figure out how to get this here support bracketry up in there. And then I think we could just slip that radiator in this way and just start fumbling through it a little bit. Here's a closer look what I was talking about up here. See this nut insert thing right there? You looking? Okay, yeah, gone. Not there. And then confuse, not sure, more confusion, even worse. Looks like this one's been smashed off 15, 17 times and it's been booger welded on. So we might end up doing the same thing or maybe, what is this now? Might have to self tap it or something. These are the fans and this is the unknown bundle of stuff we're just not gonna worry about for right now. So. I'm gonna take a quick look at that radiator and just make sure I get this in the right way. One side has like a biscuit bushing, and I think that's for this side because the drain has just like a pipe that hangs out of the, I don't know. Either way, we got a 50% shot. This couldn't have come from this car. This must have been one that the last owner bought or something, I'm not sure. It was just in it, but this looks like it was ripped off. That's all bent the frame is. Unless this thing's bent, maybe they're both bent. Anyway, what I'm saying is we got bendage and this is not, this is not going to work. This is not working. So how am I affixing this? Should we try a self tapper? Maybe. I think what I'm going to do is just uh, cross thread this guy into here. Wow. Is something happening? How can you be stuck? Okay, come back. Nope, right there. Got one side kind of sort of in there. That looks like prime candidate for self-tappage. Does this, does this need to be here? No. Oh. The answer is no, it does not. Okay, now where did I, oh, here it is. Okay, yep. Come back over here now. Bring this up, bring it up. Nope. That's not working. Uh-oh. Okay. Well, let's try it back here then. Well, for Pete's sake, same spot. I just, well, where did the screw go now? I got oil leaking, can't see nothing. I think I might have to teach you how to stay up there. What was I doing again? All right, here we go now again. There. You could hang on this all day long. No, it's barely hanging in there, but should hold a crooked radiator just fine. Really is bent up once you get that on. <whistles> Impressive. The strength is tensiled. Let me just hang this junk over here. What even is it? No one knows. Maybe just, yeah, yep. Yeah, that looks good up there. Boy, she's coming around pretty quick. Got the bushings laid into the holder upper thing. I don't know how much room I'm going to need to slip that in here. Safe default is all of it. So I'm going to take this intake boot thing off. Okay, that's hooked to stuff. Oh, was. Snap that off. Got some wires hanging off over here. Just tuck that down in there. That looks pretty good. Oh, this belt shot. I'm going to pretend I didn't see that. Anyway, back to putting the rad in. Yeah. I think we just slip, right? Where does that even go? Oh, that's that EGRs. Hello? Not very talkative. Installing the fans took only about 42 seconds. Basically, it just slides into place on the side here and boop, boop. And that's pretty much it. So now we'll just carry this out there and just kind of ease her down into place. I wonder what Reva McIntyre's doing today. Found some more pink paint on the top of the frame rails where the kinks are. So all that pink stuff was the insurance company for sure. Here we go. Oh, this is awkward. Are we in? Uh-oh, can you even come in this way with the steering magoos in the way? Plastic flappage. Wow. 
it slide. Ouch. The fins are sharp on the flanges. Oh, are we in? Nope. Just saw my rubber bushing go scooting this way. Come back here, little fella. Found it. I just gotta get her down in here now. Well, how does the guy get his arms down here like this? I don't know. There we go. That did something. All right. Mm -hmm. Ouch. Ow. These things are sharp. Third time I've had to say that. What is this doing in here? Can you just be gone for a minute? That slid in there pretty decent. Got the fan connections already on, but I'll make sure them are plugged in tight once we get her back up in the air. Gonna pop these hoses on next, I suppose. Got 74 connections over there to figure out. Just realized that it fills up from that tank. I don't know, some sort of wizardry or something. Gotta figure that out. Still don't know where this thing goes, but it's going. I mean, things are happening. You know, a guy gets asked every now and then, Oh, something just cracked. Don't know what that was. How come I don't like working on things past 1984? You're looking at it. You're looking straight at it. What kind of a player? Okay, this is just getting out of hand. All right. Well, I don't know why they use hose clamps from the Titanic. I just... Help me understand this hose. I got so many wires in the way. Can't even tell what day it is. Bring this around this way. I can't even. This is, I've never spent this much time on a hose in my life. Can I do both at once? The answer is pending. Well, now I took the clamp all the way off the hose to cut this thing off of here and start over. You stubborn little thing. It's where you're supposed to be. Left arm stuck. Wow. Wow. Ah. Got it. Got her back. Everything's fine. <clears throat> really easy process. Put this in, piece of cake. Fans are clipped in. Really tight in here. Wiring harness is clipped to the cage of the whirly woos in here. This is easier getting on from the bottom, lo and behold. I mean, I knew that as just, you know, testing out the top route. What is this one? That looks fairly important. I'm thinking that's to the air conditioning. We don't need that where we're going, but I think that's in and done. Look how crooked this is now. Once you get like a reference point, she's, it's tweaked. This side is significantly lower than that side. Kind of odd, but this wheel lock replacement information sticker was laying up here. Must have fell out of the fender up there somewhere when I was, you know, gently putting in the rad there and panicked a little bit. So I went around and made sure there isn't any locking lug nuts on here right now, thankfully, because that would be a fight. I think a lot of them are just a uh, six spline anymore but you never know that could turn into a deal well let's bring her back down and we got the other 74 hoses to figure out now it's looking like this guy here goes over to the air make it happener i'm gonna assume it's the smaller of the two and then this is the overflow mm -hmm, sure plug that in here it's got to clamp them down and i think I think we're there. Now we can try to figure out all this plastic alien stuff up here. Clips into there and it does stuff. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Take some berry, man. And just make her brand new again, you know? Yeah. Take all this plastic garbly gook out of here. That would make sense. Well, maybe I won't. What kind of a band is that now? Oh yeah, we got bugs and flies. And Careful not to blow air on those tiny little sensors, though. Get on out of there. Well, that's brand new. Floor is coming back around now, too. I'll be dipped. Got this little vacuum line fixed that snapped off earlier. This uh, top, what do we call it? Rad support plastic holder inner coupler device. She's broken. See on the side, there's two bolts. 
Then we're snap clean off. So the rad is just flopping in here right now. That's okay. I'm just gonna bungee cord it forward or something so it doesn't hit the pulleys for now. And I gotta plug in some of these doodads. That one looks like it goes here. Sure. This one must be that guy over there. So we're getting close. We could fire this thing back up again, start putting some ice cube juice in it, and then we can see if it gets hot or not. The fans turn on, and hopefully run it long enough we can see if it pulls any more codes. See what kind of shape this thing's really in. Well, are you backwards maybe? Do you go this way? Okay. Sure. Well, let's see if we can get her fired up again. Get it up to temperature. Get some juice back in this thing. Is it on? I think so. Uh-oh. Battery pack ain't got enough battery. Let's go with the assist of the Superstart over here. We'll set that up here on the battery bench. Sure. Bring this guy down here. Can we, can I double plug this somehow? There and there and this, I don't know. Let's bring it down to the engine somewhere. I saw a spark. Okay, I know what I'm missing. Bring the thunder. Thunder is not being brought. Need to recharge on this one. I've been hooking my timing lights to it, some other stuff. This one was dead in the tractor, and I think I tried it in that Dodge D100 and something else, and it was dead. So I got that one plugged back in. Maybe it'll work now. And then I got this uh, phone charger thing. This one's plugged in. Never tried to jump a car. I've got a gallon in here. Got a head start on it, you know. Let's try it again. Got up to about 205 degrees. The fans did kick on. Dropped back down to 196. Sure, 195, whatever. Got cooler, you know. And sounds okay-ish so far. No leaks. Everything's going pretty good. Engine light did kick on. I have a feeling it's gonna be EGR or something or other. I got a hose hanging off over there making a whatever that means. So I guess in the morning we'll throw the scanner on it, see what we got going on, ignore everything, put tape over the light, change on the oil, slam the hood, and let's just go for a cruise and see if the clutch works and the brake. And I'm curious to see how bad it pulls left because it looks pretty violent so far. Well, by the time I grab my computer box down there, the dang old battery's already dead. She won't even give me nothing. So I'm gonna pull out this one, run down to the store and grab another one. Dang, I hate doing that. They're expensive. Ain't nothing like some turkey, cheese, and horseradish and a mountain soda to wash her down. I don't care who you are. Missing the battery holder down her upper thingy. But that's okay. We'll just let her flop around against the hot manifold and the fender that's falling off. Seems fine. This took a very specific battery and that was the cheapest one with a go handle. Should be good now. Turn the key on and we'll run the scanner tool. Seems like that's getting better every time I open it. Okay, this thing plugs into some computer box port thing down here. This turns forward. There we go, stuff's happening. Auto Lincoln, sure. Ford Mercury Lincoln? I don't know. Boy, this seat is shot. What's it saying now? 
bunch of beeps. Camshaft position sensor. Oh no. Camshaft position sensor low input. Camshaft position sensor. Repair immediately. Let's just unplug this and uh, turn the key off and pretend we didn't see that. <clears throat> okay. So that camshaft position sensor thing, basically what it's doing is it's flip-flopping the timing 180 degrees while looking at the mass airflow sensor, trying to get that initial timing for startup. And that's why this thing was starting so hard is it was just always messing with the timing. I'm hoping that it's because of the dead battery and was turning over so slow. That's usually the case 2% of the time. So you're saying there's a chance. If it's the sensor, it's a bugger and a half and we'll just keep deleting the code, I think. I got her out right now. I think we'll lift her up, change on the oil nozzle. We heard it run, right? And then uh, let's just go, you know, test on her. Give me fuel, give me fire. Give me that which I desire. Ooh, wow. I had to lift the old car up here so I can get my dump later basket under here. This thing is lower than expected. Now I can get this oil pan bolt off. How many M&Ms is this socket? Guy came in here with his fingers to clean this up to get her out and look at this. It was just sitting in here. So that's actually good news. We can clean that up in a hurry. How am I supposed to up like this maybe? It's going to come out this way too far. Oh, we're good. No metal on the magnet, surprisingly. Today's oil flavor is Shell Wotella Heavy Duty Diesel Oil. It's a Cyanethic blend and it says it's got technologies in it. This is a T5. It has 1200 ppm in it, which is really high. And compared to the other big box brands, it's literally like a third of the price. She's got all the dinosaurs and vitamins you need. New lightning cube, fresh Earl. Let's see if she fires up. Got that code cleared, so maybe she'll fire right off. Nope. There it goes. If you heard that backfiring out of the exhaust, that's when it flips the timing. So we might actually have a bad sensor, which is a bummer because I think you gotta take the whole intake off to switch that out. Great. Oh, what was I doing? Oil pressure. Yeah, it's, it's got some, it's got all the pressures. What else? I think that's it. Is this shut now or no? We got excessive smoke up here, but that's just for me spilling about three quarts directly on the manifold. That's fine. 397.3 turn later, I got her, you know, we're this way now, vice of that way. The PS juice is gone, all leaked out. So I'm gonna put some more in this really good expensive stuff and just let that leak back out as well. But maybe I'll have some steering capabilities when we test drive this thing. Just been sitting here looking this over and I got this gut feeling. I mean, other than I could use a steak and tater right now. There's just something, I'm not ready. There's something, I need to do something. Maybe it's this hood. Maybe I gotta fix these latches or something. Make sure this hood stays down. That's probably it. That's fixed, but still just not feeling right about this. Oh, airbags. Yeah, let's, um, let's make sure the fuse is out so we don't get any fires. And I got to fix this as well. Well, that's fixed. And so is that one. But I'm still just not feeling right about this. I don't know what. Oh, duh. Strawberry flavors. There? No? Maybe? Still just not. Still just not feeling this. Hmm. Well, let's see what we got here. Okay. Oh, no, can't be. Well, this part is fairly interesting. No, nope. mm -mm. do what? Oh, okay. 
think I think I got it. I ran up a check, I might do it again. Enemies close, have me thinking they friends. Ten toes down, I'll be free until the end. Crib outside the city, I don't feel safe in my ass. Took so many years, I'm just waiting for the wins. I'm in debt to no one but the one who took my sins. I do it for real, there's no reason to pretend. If I do it once, I do it again. Add it up, add it up, bankroll, bankroll, euro, euro, peso, peso, add it up, add it up. I'm just doing me, everything is on me. Oh, you matter what? Add it up, add it up. Me, everything is on me, gon' back it up. Matter what, told you I'ma do me. Why you hating on me? It's not adding up. I do roll like a Mack truck, country heart. I'ma cop a farm and go act up. Like now we're ready. Let's go take this for a burn. We got the tea time at 20. Let's go. size 13s to move fast enough. It's staying cool. You know, that's what I'm testing on right now is coolage. We should probably see how it pulls from about 30, huh? That was about 95. Starting to lose my power steering again. That's fine, just keep ignoring it. Well, other than the front end doing everything it's not supposed to, the car runs great. Clutch surprisingly works. It's got brakes. That's a new one on me. It doesn't have some of the creature comforts, like a shift knob, but that's an easy fix. But I wasn't expecting it to just go on the road this easy, so I still don't have a plan as far as what I'm supposed to do with this. Vet carts are kinda eh. It's been done too many times. Do I make it into a rally course car? Maybe. Monster truck? Drag car? Maybe just fix it put $87 million into a frame machine and make her brand new. Nope, that's probably not a good idea. I don't know is what I'm saying, clearly. So help me out, throw some ideas down there in the bleep bloop box and I'll pick one, maybe two, jam them together. Not sure. Thanks for watching guys, appreciate it very much. See you next time. Oh, here we go. Oh, don't you dare. We were just getting along. There we go. Favorite key of the whole fleet, and I ain't kidding you.